Let's see. This person is teaching four-year-olds. She doesn't know if she's a boy or a girl. These are the people teaching her kids. I have not watched this yet, uh, but I've got, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it may, might be, it just might be batshit crazy. Hi. So I have a small dilemma. Um, I am starting a new job on Monday and it's a teaching job. So the kids are going to call me either Mr. or Mrs. Jamie. It depends on what I want, but I, as a non-binary being, I don't know what to pick. I feel like Mrs. would be easier for the kids, but Mr. makes me feel better, but I also kind of want to try mix, but I don't know if they, like, the kids can do that. I don't, and then what do they do when they ask me if I'm a boy or a girl? I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. It's, fun when it's young kids too. It's young kids. My class is gonna be four year olds. So I don't know. And then I don't know if I want to go by Jamie or Jamie Ray, because Jamie Ray is the name that I, I go by now. I don't know. Um any advice would be great for any non-binary teachers. SOS save our ship. SOS SOC save our captain. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> four year olds. Maybe, won't anybody think of the children, please? Maybe, maybe not confusing the children is more important than your gender narcissism. You know, if you can't decide if you want to be called Mr. or Miss or Mix or whatever, maybe your whole thing is just bullshit. Maybe none of it's real. Maybe this is all just narcissism. Just somebody who is... I hate to say it, but perhaps somewhat unremarkable, looking for a way to appear remarkable without actually having to earn it. Is that a possibility here? I just feel like perhaps there should be some sort of a filter in place <laughs> to keep, um, you know, delusional narcissists out of the classrooms, especially around four-year-olds, you know, going to be around four-year-olds, Jesus. What is it, though, other than a social experiment, right? I mean, obviously, it's nonsense. Like, you're not a bunch of different genders. You're not omni-gender. You're not every gender. You're not frog gender or deer gender or tree gender. Those things aren't real, right? These are just abstract concepts that don't mean anything, right? These are just fantasies, right? You are female or male. You are one of those two biologically perhaps there needs to be some filter <laughs> some filter to keep out insane narcissists not even insane i don't think these people are actually insane i think they they know deep down that none of this is true that this is just attention getting they like the attention Freya Dick said mrs mcnuggets what no <laughs> <sighs> Now, should we go to the comments? Are they going to be cruel? I don't know. Notice how the only person she's worried about being comfortable in that class is herself. Exactly. Narcissists, every single one of them. Exactly. Well, that also gets a clap. <laughs> comedy versus reality. 1990s comedy <laughs> versus 2020s reality. Yep. Yep. That's why Saturday Night Live sucks now. If you don't know how chromosomes work, uh, you shouldn't. If you don't know how chromosomes work, you shouldn't be teaching anyone anything. If this video doesn't get this woman fired, then whoever hired her needs to get fired. Also, is going to warp children with her insanity. It's a, it's like, like I said, it's a giant social experiment on a generation of children. That's what this is, based on just the most obviously transparent pseudoscience imaginable. Apparently, a mental health screening should now be a requirement for a teaching role. This has to stop. Agreed.